Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. People are currently engrossed in discussions about the astronomical event on October 9, 2024, which aligns with the prophecy found in Revelation chapter 6 concerning the four horsemen. However, there is another significant sign that will manifest overnight, yet it remains largely unrecognized. It is crucial for everyone to pay attention to this impending sign before it is too late, so please stay tuned to the end of the video. To grasp its importance, let's reflect on September 23, 2017, a date that marked the fulfillment of Revelation 12. The scripture describes a woman adorned with the sun, the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of twelve stars. This precise alignment was witnessed on September 23, 2017, leading many to regard it as a heavenly prophecy that confirmed long-held biblical predictions. Seven years have passed since that event, and attention has once again turned to the heavens. What transpired in 2017 was monumental, but a new chapter is set to unfold in October 2024, heralding the emergence of the Four Horsemen, conquest, war, scarcity, and turmoil, as outlined in Revelation 6. The seven-year cycle is completing its course, and the tribulation period described in Scripture is imminent, culminating in the return of Jesus Christ in 2031. This transformative period holds the potential to reshape humanity's future. Yet, amidst the increasing conversations about these events, one crucial detail is being overlooked, which could lead to dire consequences for those unprepared spiritually. Biblical prophecies are not arbitrary, they follow a divine schedule. The number seven, as many scholars and theologians will affirm, holds great significance throughout scripture, symbolizing completeness and the perfect design of God for human. While predictions can arise from calculations, historical trends, and interpretations of biblical events, true prophecies originate from God's word and carry divine authority. Predictions may fail, but genuine prophecies are unchangeable, rooted in the steadfast nature of God. Believers are reminded to look at the signs in the heavens and be discerning of the circulating predictions. Only prophecies guided by the Holy Spirit and grounded in Scripture can be fully trusted. The stars and their configurations are just one piece of a larger puzzle, true revelation stem from discerning God's voice. The prophecies within Scripture have consistently proven their reliability throughout history and are currently unfolding before us. Let's examine the biblical pattern of seven years. We see this reflected in Joseph's time, during which he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, preparing Egypt for both abundance and famine. We observe it in the seven-year cycles of judgment and restoration in the Old Testament, where God's people faced trials and were subsequently delivered. As we approach October 9, 2024, we are once again entering a crucial seven-year period, which many believe signals the beginning of the Great Tribulation. These insights are not merely theoretical, they are firmly rooted in the prophetic timeline that God has established. The celestial event in October 2024 is not simply an astronomical occurrence, it serves as a divine marker for the arrival of the four horsemen. Their emergence symbolizes the onset of judgment, as conquest, war, scarcity, and strife will sweep across the earth, altering our world forever. However, this is just the beginning, the seals will be opened, and the scroll of judgment will be fully revealed. The urgency of the moment is heightened as many fixate on celestial signs, missing out on critical events unfolding on earth. Indeed, we must pay attention to both the heavens and the significant occurrences right before us, nations rising against nations, a surge in natural disasters, and the alarming moral decline of society. These signs are all part of the end times narrative. The spiritual realm is active, and dark forces are diligently working to deceive, distract, and disrupt God's people. 
The enemy is aware that his time is limited and is unleashing his full force in these final days. The spirit of the Antichrist is already at work, and if we are not spiritually vigilant, we risk being caught off guard. Yet, amid these ominous signs and fulfilled prophecies, there is good news. While tribulation is on the horizon, so is the return of our King, Jesus Christ. He will come again, not as a suffering servant, but as the victorious Lion of Judah. He will judge the living and the dead, establish his eternal kingdom, and put an end to all suffering. Those who are found in him will be saved, receiving the crown of life and reigning with him forever. Conversely, those who dismiss the signs and ridicule the prophecies will face the consequences of their choices. What does this mean for us today? It is a, they disregarded the prophet's warnings, and when the flood arrived, it was too late. Today, the world finds itself in a similar predicament, individuals are preoccupied with their daily lives, caught up in entertainment, politics, and personal aspirations. Many are neglecting the signs of the times, and they will be unprepared when their trials commence. Beloved, I hope you now grasp the significance of the sign appearing on earth and recognize the distinction between predictions and prophecies. What we hear regarding revelations in the stars are merely predictions based on prophetic insights. Only God knows whether Jesus Christ will return on that specific day, but we cannot deny that prophecies are indeed coming to pass, and the times ahead will be even more astonishing than today. Therefore, let us ready our hearts, and I invite you to join me in a heartfelt prayer, Heavenly Father, we approach, Lord, we lift up those who are lost and searching, those misled by the enemy, and those blinded by worldly distractions. Open their eyes to the truth of your love and the urgency of the time. Use us, Father, as vessels of your grace and truth to lead others to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. As we look ahead, we know that trials, tribulations, and hardships await us, but we also understand that you are greater than any challenge we face. Fill us with supernatural strength, Father, so we may endure all things for your sake. Let us be like the wise virgins who kept their lamps burning, prepared and awaiting the bridegroom's return. May we not grow weary in doing good, but instead continue to walk in obedience and faithfulness, knowing the reward is great for those who persevere to the end. Father, we also ask for your protection over our families, communities, and fellow believers. Guide us from the enemy's attacks and envelop us in your divine hedge of protection. Let your angels surround us, guiding and guarding us in all our ways. Protect us from physical harm and secure our minds and hearts in you. We pray, Father, for unity among your people in these last days. Let us not be divided by trivial disputes or distracted by inconsequential matters. Lord, we thank you for your grace and mercy that sustain us daily. We are unworthy of your love, yet you shower it upon us generously. We are grateful for your patience, even when we falter. Help us, Lord, to walk in humility and to continually seek your face. As we conclude this prayer, Father, we ask that you continue preparing us for the days ahead. We ask all these things in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So remember, beloved listeners, the time is drawing near, and we must be alert in our walk with Christ. Keep your gaze on the heavens but don't lose sight of what is unfolding around you. Stay anchored in the Word of God, for it is your foundation during these turbulent times. Remember, God is faithful, and His promises will not falter. Take heart, for while the days ahead may present challenges, the glory that awaits us surpasses all understanding. Stay strong, remain faithful, and be watchful, for our King, Jesus Christ, is coming.